everyone, welcome back to another RGM Garage episode and today we will be working on a 2014 GSX-R1000 so my good friend Matt has asked me if I could change the radiator frame has developed a little leak um, so he's got a new radiator, protector, um, new antifreeze so that's what we're going to be doing today um, enjoy it and follow the step by step on how to do a um, radiator on a GX1000. Alright, so your first step is going to obviously be uh, jack the bike up, put it on stands or um, always better for you. If you don't have them, you can do it on the floor as it is on the on a side stand, but it's a bit more complicated to do and this will give you uh, a better way to work on the bike. So Right, so once your bike is on the stand, your next job will be remove all the fairings, crush bobbins, um, so just crack on with it and remove all the plastics because that's the only way to access the radiator. So once you get all the fairings out, or the two pieces of fairing, um, always put all your screws in the magnet tray and make sure you don't lose them. So the next thing we're going to do is find the radiator, get the one of the pipes out and drain the complete system onto a bucket. It's antifreeze, do not get rid of it in the drains is toxic, should be disposed properly. Alright guys, so I got all the water pipes disconnected, there's one on this side and on the other side there is one here which goes to this bottom one, there's this one here will connect to the bottle, expansion bottle you'd see mounted in there and there's this pipe that goes to the engine which mounts to the bottom pipe and also there's the fan connector so you can see it there so disconnect the fan so now the radiator is safe to be pulled out so now there is one bolt there one bolt here that attaches onto the other and as well as the other side one bolt hard to see this one up there and one in here all 
All right, guys, so one thing I forgot to mention is these two uh, little bolts on the bottom. Um, and they are not easy to take off, but they have to. So um, I had to fiddle about uh, for a few minutes and managed to get them off. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to transfer the fan and the little rubbers, uh, vibration isolators, onto the new radiator. So here is the new stuff, there's brand new shiny, or black but shiny, radiator, radiator protector, new antifreeze. So when you do a job like this, it's recommended that you always change the antifreeze. All right, guys, so when it says on the description, um, straight fit, doesn't mean that it's always straight fit. So as you can see in there, this bracket is aligned. This bracket or hole, mounting hole is aligned. So those two align quite well. But in there, you can see there's quite a bit of a, a gap, which is usual on aftermarket parts. So on this um, situation, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to unbend this bracket slightly and this bracket slightly so that will align with the hole um, and I'll be able to put the screw through. Using two sets of pliers, I was able to bend the brackets and make it fit perfectly. It's important to make sure the fan does not contact with the radiator. So once you get the radiator into place and it's got the guard as well mounted onto it already, uh, got to connect all the hoses back to where they were. So there's one here down on the bottom and come the other side and you have this one is connected as well as this one that goes to the expansion bottle and that one which is a breather for the engine. And don't forget to connect your um, fan back to it. So once all of that is done, all is tightened up and correctly mounted, um, it's just a question of filling it up with new antifreeze. Once you have the system fully filled up, um, the squeezing of the pipes helps taking the air bubbles off the whole system. Um, but you still have to run the bike up to temperature, make sure there's no leaks, and um, make sure the fun kicks in and everything. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. Just start the bike, run it up to temperature, and uh, check for leaks. And finish filling up the tank or uh, filling up the um, cooling system and the bike is ready to go after I put all the plastics back on. That's how easy it is to change the radiator on um, this GSXR. So run it up to temperature, the fan kicked in, lower down the temperature, there's no leaks, 
um, it's all good to go. Uh, the only thing that's left to do is put the fairings back on the bike. guys this is how I done a radiator on a 2014 GSX-R1000 um, hope this is helpful for you that's a helpful video for you and um, if you like it please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and press that bell so you get notified when I post new videos so that's it for now take it easy ride safe and I see you next time Thank you.